Hey, what's going on, guys? So in this video, we are going to be retargeting animations onto the MetaHuman characters that you can download in the Epic Marketplace right now that Epic Games released yesterday. Now, I know I already made a video about this, but I'm going to go ahead and make a second one because after updating my drivers and messing around with my computer, I think that was the thing that was screwing up my system. So even at LOD0, we are getting better FPS. Yay! So, that being said, let's go ahead and retarget some animations onto this character here in uh, Unreal Engine 4. So first things first, uh, I did enable the HRI plugin again, like always, right here. HRI backdrop, go ahead and enable that and then restart. And let's go ahead and start deleting some stuff because really all I need uh, is the male actor here. So I'm going to delete the fill light right and for the for the post processing volume let me just um turn it off by switching the blend weight to zero because i don't want to necessarily delete those because i want to see what they had here and um, i'm gonna go ahead and go to hdri drag and drop that and press ok and kind of just i'm going to disable the snap right here so his kind of his foot is like touching the floor. Okay, that's good. And then we're gonna change the HRI backdrop. I have a HRI downloaded here from HR Haven, and I'm just gonna drag and drop it here in the cube map. And then I'm gonna double click the cube map, and I'm gonna go to the LOD settings. After that, go to MIP Gen settings, and go to No MIP Maps. And that should load for a second. As you can see, it's a lot sharper. Save, minimize. And it looks a little bit better than before. And I'm going to go ahead and center this guy in the middle of a scene so that it looks good. Okay. So here's our dude. And um, you're probably wondering why, you know, it looks kind of crappy whenever you zoom out. And it's because of um, LODs, right? So, or level of details. And I'm going to show this to you real quick. If I go to lit and I'm going to go to... Uh, level of detail coloration and I go to mesh LOD coloration um, you're gonna see it right you can kinda see the character is green right now but as I zoom in he will start changing colors and this is because it's showing you that different LODs of this uh, of this character so red is LOD 0 pretty much the highest quality you can get out of this character and if I go back up his face is green so that means it already changed and the um, the, the shirt is red the shirt is red still so that means it's still high quality the face is blue and they just there you go and I think that's the last LO, LOD no there's one more you can kind of see all right so that is the reason why when we're far away he looks like Shiza but when he's up close, he looks good. All right, um, let's go ahead and add a simple light here because his eyes are a little dark. Kind of don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and just scooch this way. And I'm going to go ahead and press OK. I'm just going to bring a little light here. And I'm going to turn it down to like maybe one. I just want, you know, some a little bit of fill here. And, you know, just a little bit of catch light as well. So I'm going to go ahead and save it all. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is actually get some animations from the Epic Marketplace that we can actually use to animate this character because it looks great, but it's going to need to move. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. All right, so let's go to the Marketplace real quick. So the animation pack that we're going to be using is the animation starter pack that you can download for free. Let's go ahead and add this to our project. And MetaHumans 2, add project go back to our project here and we'll wait for that to load up and as you can see with my RTX 3090 driver updated I think that's what fixed it it looks like I'm getting better but it looks like the scalability is not turned up oh no okay we'll test it out here in a second but so this is not even the fullest quality this is medium Okay, so for the next part of this tutorial, we are going to make sure that the skeleton of this meta-human is the same skeleton 
as the animation starter pack, meaning the bones are the same and the pose are the same. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the skeleton of the meta humans and take a look at that. So sample, common, female, medium, medium, body all click all the way through i mean they were hiding the skeleton for some reason now another thing is for some reason my computer really slows down at this portion here now i'm not sure why that is but it's slower here as you can see everything else is fast but when i get to the skeleton view uh the, my computer just kind of craps out on me so the first thing we're going to do is change the skeletal preview mesh from female to male so click here and we're going to change this to male because it is going to change slightly so you can see it's a little bit bigger and i know you're probably freaking out right now because all you can see are the hands and ankles right so go ahead and go to show and it took me a minute to find this go to bones and hierarchy and you're going to be able to see your bones, so you should be okay. And if you go to character again, go to bones and look at the bone names, you're going to see your actual bone names for your skeleton. Now, this is very important because, like I said, we have to match this naming convention, this pose, to our animation skeleton, all right? And in the documentation of Unreal Engine 4, it actually says to pay attention to the spines, which is pretty important. And you can see that spine 2 is around right here, 3 and 4. And spine 1 is like down here by the pelvis, which is pretty close down on the bottom. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and open up the skeleton for our animation. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this for now. And I'm going to go back to our animation starter pack. And I'm going to go ahead and just do the crouch to stand rifle iron sights. I'm going to double click that. I'm going to go to skeleton for that. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to character, bones, uh, bone names, and I'm going to scroll in. I'm going to go ahead and change my camera speed to 2. And as you can see, spine 1 for this one is actually right here. In our meta human, it's like down here. So we're going to have to change this to 2, 3, 4 on our meta human right here. So that lines up perfectly. And since this meta human was created by Unreal Engine 4 or Epic Games, the naming convention is the same as the UE4 mannequin. So this is the, so pretty much this mannequin has the same bone names as our meta humans, which will make this process much easier. So let's go back to our meta humans here. And what we're going to do is click the select rig. We're going to click this and select humanoid and all the names. And I'm going to make this bigger a little bit. And all the names should match up. So this is the source and then the target should all be the same because of the naming convention. But we are going to change the spine like I said. So spine 1, we actually want to be spine 2. Spine 3 and then spine 4. Okay. All good. And then if you go to show advance, just make sure everything else is good. Looks like they are. Everything is matching up perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and save. And if you go to skeleton tree and click on this options, show retargeting options, we're going to have to change these. So the first two are the only ones that should be set to animation and the rest should be set to skeleton. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Scroll down all the way down. Just going to make sure everything else is set to skeleton. And my screen is flickering for some reason. It just does not like this skeleton view here. And then skeleton. Okay. Save. And we're going to go to our UE4 mannequin now. And we'll do the same thing. So select humanoid. Since this is retargeted to E4 mannequin. Everything is good. We don't have to change the spine because that matches that. Show advance. And what I am going to remove here are just the IK. IKs. Because we don't need that right now. So save. And then what I'm going to do is make sure that the option here is also set to skeleton. You got a couple here, the IK, so I'm just going to set this for now. So it's all standard, right? And I'm going to go ahead and view the post. Perfect, that's in a post. And we'll go to our human, go to retarget manager, view post. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and turn off all the bones, bone names, so you can kind of see what's going on. All right, so if I click view pose, it's also an A pose. So we should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and minimize this. Okay, so and then all we have to do now is right click this animation we want, retarget, and then duplicate. And we're going to go ahead and choose our meta human based skeleton. And you can change the folder where this is going to, but I'm going to leave it in the main content folder. I'm going to go ahead and click retarget. And it's going to create a new 
uh, animation sequence. So pretty much all of this animation we can now retarget to our meta human character. So next thing we're going to do is add a cinematics. Cinematics level sequence, create a sequence. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop our guy in there. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off these uh, actor eye control uh, thingy helper. I'm going to delete the control rig. We don't need it for now. And all we have to do is go to the uh, BP human track animation. And then there you go. Crouch to stand rifle iron sight. There you go. So you can see it is perfect. Just like that. So now we can put a weapon in there. And if I press play, he is actually animating like so. Okay. Pretty, pretty cool. That is awesome. Um, if you are running into some messed up fingers or anything like that, uh, what you need to do is go to Content Browser and go back to your skeleton for your human and check this for me because I was running into this last night, but I finally figured it out. Go back if you're running into that finger issue and view your pose to make sure your pose is still a pose. If it's not, just modify and reset. Reset it. So we'll go back to a post, okay? If you're having that finger issue that I had uh, uh, last night. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That is how you can retarget animations into the meta human character that uh, Epic Games released yesterday. What's really cool about this is since you can do this retargeting with animation packet assets, you can also do this with mocap. Uh, information so that means that I can have my mocap suit and load in some animations to this meta human character which is gonna make a lot of the animation look more realistic and the last thing I'm gonna do is just change this to cinematic so we can see it and see if I can crash my RTX 3090 look at that oh there it is that is some high quality stuff and Let's go ahead and do the lit again. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. Oh, that is actually LOD1. Gotcha. So that wasn't even LOD1 what I showed you guys earlier. That's crazy. Sorry, I'm just having fun here right now. So it looks like that wasn't the red wasn't even LOD1. That's LOD1. Oh, that's the red earlier. If I, so if I go to lit, that's LOD1. And my frames per second is uh, struggling there.